Welcome to the Cardigan Empire Men's Professional Series. Today we are going to transform Gabe. Now, when Gabe and I first met, he was being swallowed satorially by ill-fitting clothing. Gabe is a slim V-shaped figure. He has a deep winter complexion, modern fashion aspirations, and a business casual career. Unfortunately, he was being gobbled up by blouse button downs and pleated trousers, and his fashion identified more with his stodgy newspaper past than his digital agency presence. So what we needed to give Gabe was an all-over makeover with a business professional presence. A common misconception for lean men is that in order to look bigger, we need to wear bigger sizes of clothing. Untrue. All it's going to do is make you look like you got shrunk in the wash. For example, we've got Gabe in this suit coat, which has at least six inches of extra fabric around the waistline. He's also got several inches across the hip and across the waistband of his trousers. As you can see, it's blousing and bunching all over underneath his belt line. We need to get Gabe in some slim fits to show off all his hard work at the gym. This next ensemble perfectly illustrates another fit issue we had. While Gabe's clothing was excessively wide, it certainly wasn't long enough. He had an issue with overexposure of the wrist bones and an inability to keep his shirt tucked in every time he raised his arms. So we wanna make sure that we're gonna look for talls in his clothing, just like you can look for a different inseam in your pants. Speaking of pants, the wash is too light for the office, the distressing is too excessive for a professional environment, and the condition is unacceptable. Nowhere should you be having a denim trail following around in strings behind you. In this next ensemble, we're gonna focus in on a couple of details. First, ironing. Gabe moved out of his mom's house a decade ago, and I don't think his shirts have seen an iron since. So we need to make sure that we get him no fuss materials. Next, we can fit three of Gabe inside of these pants. The crotch line is not even close to adjacent to the meeting of his legs, and the pleating makes him look about 40 years older than he actually is. Finally, we wanna make sure we pay attention to details, especially in professional wear. What we wear says a lot about what we do. So a soft collar could translate into sending emails sans spell check. A missed belt loop could be the propensity to miss deadlines. A scuffed shoe could be sloppy phone etiquette. People are gonna make all kinds of assumptions about you and you want them to assume past successes and future wins. In plotting Gabe's fashion transformation, we took into account his prodigious travel schedule. He's always hunting business with Fortune 500 companies, and he picks his wardrobe out of his suitcase just as much as he does out of his closet. Plus, Gabe's a bachelor, so this situation had non-iron written all over it. Next, we want to make sure all the fits are perfect. We have collar stays in all of his collars to make sure they stay sharp and pointed, and we have clean, slim, tall fits in all of his shirts so that he can give the congratulatory high five without having his shirt come untugged. In this ensemble, we have Gabe polished to perfection for a casual environment. The dark jeans have a nice classic wash, but they're slim and straight, modern and fitted. The inseam isn't dragging on the ground, it's appropriately sized. And we have a completer piece. Blazers, sweaters, they add an appropriate level of professionalism to even a casual environment. This final outfit shows a head-to-toe transformation in every length and width. First, our blazer is properly fitted to his torso. The shirt cuff is coming all the way to his wrist bone, and the blazer ends a half an inch before that. On our shoes, we've chosen to add just a touch of personality. Although conservative, cool colors speak to formality, we can always add personality in small strokes. As you can see, we've made Gabe over into a complete transformation, and if you want to achieve your own, make sure you subscribe to my channel. First, the pants. These are way too big for Gabe. The, meeting, the line of the crotch is nowhere near the adjacent of the meeting of his legs. Don't make me laugh, you can't make me laugh. 